everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this slimline pop-up card. I made this during a Facebook Live and there's just so many slimline cards around at the moment I thought it'd be quite nice to start using some pop-up elements inside of them. So this is the front of the card here and then when you open it up you have this pop-up piano or floating piano and I've got this beautiful garland along the top here and I've got lots of glitter shine from the sequins, there's dimension with the Nouveau drops and I've put glossy accents all over the keys there on the piano and it's just turned out really really nice. Now you could write your message here if you wanted to but I've kept the back for my message and I've just continued some of the design there on the back as well but I'm really pleased with how this one's come together so I'm going to do another one today using pink colours so let me show you how. Okay so I've already gone ahead and cut everything out. Now the piano die is from this set here which I brought last year and it's by Paper Discovery. You get this border, let me just take them both out. There it is there. So I just die cut it in white just with this one and then I die cut it again with that inside the frame in pink and then just stuck that over the top and that's how you get that effect. It looks really nice. And then this one here you can see the design so it will die cut this lovely musical or music notes all over. You can see there how that one sits. So that's what I've used there and I'm going to do that on this pink one in a moment. But I have gone ahead and done all of my decoration and this is using the Paper Discovery Kit 14. So if you do have that one that's what I've used. So for the live I stuck with all the blue colours and um, I used the, the die here to cut the garland and you've got the dies there to cut the flowers as well and that's the stamp set that comes in there so you can see that garland which is this one here and I've also cut the individual leaves and the flower there in the centre. So if you do have those things that's what I've used but you can use anything you want here and I was actually thinking for the pop-up piece you could have it as a craft, craft table or just like an office table maybe you know you, your partner or husband you know has an office you could customize it or make it look like their office you could also use it for like a tool you know a shed like a workbench there's lots of ways that you could change it to suit you know um, the person that you're giving it to but I'm going to stick with this piano and uh, show you how to put this all together so for a slimline card there's a few there's about three different sizes when it comes to the slimline cards but mine's a shop brought one and this one is eight by eight and a quarter so, I mean, you could just do eight by eight and then just score along one of the sides at four inches. I've then got this piece here, which is three and three quarters by eight. I've done it again in the pink and then the white piece is three and a half by seven and three quarters and that's what I'm gonna pop on the back there. Now for the pop-up piece, I have this one here and this is three by one and a half. And along the three inch side, you just wanna score at one inch one and a half and two and a half. So again just score at one, one and a half and two and a half and just burnish them all and that's what we're going to use. We're going to stick that inside the card and we're going to place the piano in my case on top of that. So before we stick the mechanism in you actually want to do your mats and layers on the inside of the card so I'm going to do the same design as this. Now this wood grain here was from that same kit but I only got the one sheet so I've got this wood grain of my own from a 12 by 12 pad and I'm actually going to cover the whole bottom of this card so it would be four by eight and a quarter but the easiest way to do it is just to add glue all over there and then stick it on top and just cut around it. But if you did want to do um, a border then I would cut a piece that's three and three quarters by eight and um, just do the same mat layer sizes that I gave you for the front and the back. So I'm just going to cover the base there with my glue and then I'm just going to lay that over the top and just let that grab. And then I'm just going to flip it over and just follow along the side of the card and that way you'll get a really nice finish. Okay, so that's all stuck down. Now I want to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to use the same one, a note of thanks, because I've got a music theme. And you just want to think about how high up 
if you're going to stamp on the back like mine is. I know that this is going to be lifted by half an inch, it's going to be there, so I want that sentiment to be able to sit just nicely above it. I think I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to pick that up. And then the ink cubes are all from the kit, so I've just pulled this one out. This was from the Be Crafty kit, it was a really nice pink. And I've just used different blues from the kits as well to match the one that I made before. But I'm just going to ink this up. Just do one more there as well, just so it's nice and crisp. There we go. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And then with this piece here, I'm going to use my quick grab glue is the end where you've got the one inch section. I'm going to just cover that in glue. And then you're going to stick it in the middle of this bit. I mean, don't worry if it's not bang on the middle because whatever you have on top is going to be bigger. So that, that's the bit that you really want to make sure is in the middle. But just make sure it goes right up to the score line there. And then you want to add your glue to the half inch section like so, fold it in half and then just fold the whole card over and just give that a minute to grab and then when you open that up you'll have this lifted piece here and now that's ready for me to stick the piano on so I'm just going to push that back a little bit okay so now I'm going to add some glue I'm going to use the colour out on this bit so it dries nice and hard and then you want to make sure this, or whatever it is that you're using now, is in the centre. So just bring that right up as close as you can. That looks about right. And then again, close that card. And I'm just going to leave that there. I'm just going to pop my water bottle on top. So whilst that's just doing its thing, I'm going to decorate the front panel. So this one here is going to be layered onto the gold. And I'm going to cut it up in this corner like I did before. So I'm just going to run that through my machine. Okay, so that's all die cut. Now you also get all these pieces here. So it's all the negative space there. But keep them, so I will be using some to decorate the front of the card and just to add a little bit more decoration around the garland. But now I've got that. Now that's going to sit over the top, but I actually want these to be in white because I think they pop. So if you'll notice there, you'll see I've got the gold frame, but I've actually got white. So I'm actually going to so I'm going to gut the inside of this. Now if you've got a trimmer you can just trim around um, the inside and make a frame. I'm just going to cut up to each corner and just remove the inside. And then I always keep these bits because they're perfect size for, you know, cutting little flowers or things like this. Little sprigs and stuff for decoration. So I'm just going to very roughly cut a frame. But if you don't have a trimmer, this is all you need to do. Just cut up, make sure you've got, give yourself enough of a frame to give you that border. Like so. And now, oh, catch that piece. That's going to go over the top here, but it will show the white of the, the card there. I'm going to stick that on top, first of all. And then just because I'm going to be sticking it onto that mirrored card, I'm going to use my red tape to attach this. And then I'm also just taking the release paper off, but I'm just going to pop a little bit of liquid glue just in some of these spaces here, just so that nothing lifts, because it you know you don't want to catch it on anything. I'm doing the front of the card as a portrait, and then inside the landscape doesn't really matter. And I mean, the idea is, is that this card's displayed open, so you might not want to spend as much time as I am on this. But then also someone might not have, you know, a lot of space to be able to display the card, so they can still display it this way if they want to, like so. Okay, there we go. So I'll decorate the front of that in a minute, but now I can open the card and that's all dry. You can see now we've got that floating piano. So next I'm going to decorate it all with all of these pieces that I've cut and I'm going to follow this same design here and then I'll finish with the Nouveau Drops, the glossy accents and the sequins and I'll show you all of that at the end.
So I stuck everything down, I think it looks really really pretty and I've loved the gold sprigs adding that shine there and I'm going to add some sequins and the Nouveau drops now along with the glossy accents as well and there's the front. I just realised I had some of these thank you tab tags from Dovecraft so I thought I'd use that because it's got the gold, you get ones with silver and ones with gold so I thought that just finishes off the front there really nice when they take it out of the envelope you can see I've added those the negative music notes there I've just added them and I'm going to add some glossy accents over those as well so I'll keep all those pieces back in the kit I'll start on the inside first of all so I've pulled out this colour here it's the crystal drop and it's the rhubarb crumble and I just thought that one's going to go really well so you need to kind of think about the, the order actually I'm just wondering these are going to take longer to dry than the glossy accents so I think I might add the glossy accents first on the keyboard you can see all of this in more the you know the normal speed I do it all from scratch on the Facebook live and I'll link that in the description box but whenever you use these I just basically just squeeze out a little bit to start with and then I just use the nozzle to drag that around so I'm almost using the nozzle to like paint it on so I'm not squeezing out too much you'll then just get that lovely shine and I'm just going just making sure I've got no gaps and it will self level if it's a little bit cloudy it's because it's thicker but it will dry clear and um, yeah you'll just start to get you can see it there already so I'm going to do that along these keys okay so I've covered all of the keys with the glossy accents and I've also started to cover the music notes there you can probably just pick it up there when it catches the light so I've just gone over those and now I'm going to use the Nouveau drops along with this gold one here as well which is the honey gold and again that's from the glitter drops so this is a crystal drop so this is shiny these have glitter in and then the jewel drops are translucent so they just have like a hint of colour but I'm just going to go in just make sure you get the air bubbles out first of all there we go and then just add little dots you there and I'm keeping them quite close some a bit bigger than others to the garland so it looks like it's just all part of that I'll do some more of that on the front of the card which you'll see in the photos on my blog because I need to keep this laying flat now. So then I've got the gold and I'm just going to add a couple of just a drop in the centre and that will dry and just leave all the gold glitter. And then lastly I'm going to add the sequins just in any kind of gaps so I'm going to pop a little glue dot there, do one there, let's do one up there and just lay them all down. I would probably recommend doing one thing at a time and making sure it's completely dry like my Nouveau drops are still obviously very very wet. If you were to drop one of these sequins now or you know get your finger caught on one of the drops you don't you know <laughs> it could be a disaster so yeah I definitely recommend doing it in stages there we go and I will add a few more of those sequins around the bottom here like you can see I've done on that one but if I just bring that up you can now see how gorgeous is that and we were talking in the chat during the live craft along how lovely this would look as a Christmas card if you had that as a Christmas garland I think it looks really lovely really lovely or as a wedding card as well but yeah a few more sequins and some Nouveau drops to add down here but otherwise this card is finished so I'm just going to tidy up show you the blue one again I'll just bring up both cards next to each other there I think they look absolutely beautiful so hopefully this has inspired you to use the slimline cards and you can still obviously get really nice pop-up effects with them and like I said you know I think this as a craft room or a workbench a desk I think would look really really cool so I can't wait to start seeing what you create using this style and as always I will link what I've used in the description box below and I'll be back very soon with more fun tutorials thanks for watching bye